I'm often asked, what is my thought processes behind creating a photograph? Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, author of Understanding Exposure, Learning to See Creatively, and Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. I'm here in Seattle's Industrial Park, which is south of downtown, and what appeals to me, first of all, is I've got some really great side light, low-angled side lighting, and I've brought my willing model, my daughter Sophie, where the idea was initially inspired, and the idea was that she was jump roping in my parents' backyard, not an ideal location to take a photograph of my daughter jump roping. Far too busy, and the size of the yard was relatively small, and my idea of a jump rope shot would require a telephoto lens along with a good distance from her so I can compress the area around her. Why to come here? Because it's in direct contrast to a little girl jump roping. We think of these very heavy steel concrete columns that are supporting the freeway overhead, and it's not a likely place that you would find somebody jump roping, yet why not? So, I also deliberately chose to place her in a yellow t-shirt, which she actually came along just to horse around and go out with daddy to take pictures. Not having a yellow t-shirt, we also made a quick stop at a department store to buy a $4 t-shirt. So, she's got her jump rope, she's got the bright colored t-shirt on to give it some contrast, and we're just about good to go. But now let's talk briefly about the exposure I have in mind. We're talking about freezing action here. In this case, her up and down movement is such that I will be shooting at a shutter speed of a one thousandth of a second. Experience has taught me that's plenty fast enough to freeze that kind of action. Relative to her size to the overall picture too, she's not gonna be that large, but that does not uh, uh, eliminate the fact that I still need to use a fast shutter speed because again, she's the only thing moving within this photograph. So let's take a peek. I'm gonna set my first, uh, my, uh, camera in manual exposure mode and I'm setting it now at a thousandth of a second adjusting the aperture until the correct exposure is indicated which in this case is at 6.3 and here we go so if you go ahead and do really fast jumps okay and face the sunlight a little bit more that way okay go take a look I think you'll agree it's pretty dynamic and what makes it dynamic are the elements of design which in this case is line and shape and form, form created by the side light and of course color coming off of soapy and the, the nice little surprise here is we have somebody jump roping in contrast to a location that would not normally support that. I hope this gives you some idea of not only what I go through but also give you some food for thought in terms of planning your next shot. Until next time this is Brian Peterson saying you keep shooting.